What's up, YouTube? It is November 20th, 2013, and the holiday season is upon us. Um, so yeah, very exciting stuff. I am going through hell and misery, not to be dramatic, because I could be living in a terrible, terrible third world country situation, dying of malaria and cancer with like one leg and stumps for arms. So I try to be positive about it, but... Uh, there's actually a biological reason or physiological reason why I'm like going through hell right now. So anyways, um, so turns out my liver has been inflamed and all this other weird stuff too. And I'm not an alcoholic, um, although I do like to have a few drinks on the weekend once in a while. Um, and it turns out I might have honestly solved in my mind through a bunch of research why I have vitiligo, which is an autoimmune disease, the Michael Jackson skin disease. You can't really see it right now. Um why I have like a hypothyroid disease, um, possibly Hashimoto's, which is also autoimmune, um, all of these other things that are going on. And it is because, in theory, candida, or candida, I think it's candida, um, it is a yeast type bacteria type thing where if it goes systemic in your system, and that usually happens because of too much of antibiotics throughout your lifetime or say there's like a surgery or you had a really bad infection and you weren't taking probiotics to help supplement um, the bad bacteria and the good bacteria, um, it can overgrow because um, candida is natural or candida, I'm sorry if I'm messing it up, is a natural bacteria that we have in our bodies or fungus, but then it gets out of control when your immune system or balance in your body gets out of whack. Um, so because of this, I have been having all sorts of issues, and I think it's actually related to that. Um, you can also get it from a crap diet, like the standard American diet, which is sad. <laughs> S-A-D. Um, and it's true, like all sorts of dairy, all sorts of um, different breads, sugars, beer, you know, all other stuff. Which is everything I love. It is so sad. I feel like such a German because, like, I love meat, potatoes, and cheese, and bread. Like, two loves in my life. So sad. Anyways, with the Candida diet... You can't have any of that. You can have green vegetables, like vegetables, all you want, and you can have meat. But that's limited, like, you know, no fruit, you know, like no salad dressings. You can't have a drink. It's terrible. And what happens, the biological, physiological reason why I'm freaking out, is that as the yeast is dying off, it's called like a die-off effect, these little things are so crafty. They're like a little coven of little microorganism freaks in my system, they will make you crave what they need to eat. It's like it's like having a baby or whatever. You just start craving this like random crap and they know it. And they they are like, hey, you know what? You uh you really would like that cheese. Uh you would really love that delicious ice cold beer right now or that delicious French baguette. And you can't have that. So uh you have to fight it off. You can get mood swings, you get depressed. Like, aside from not having my food, I just wanted to cry. I was just, like, felt like a pig. I, like, went through my cupboard and realized what I could not eat. It was very sad. You can't have honey. You can't have coffee. Any, like, caffeine. Smoking. You're not supposed to smoke. Another thing I do. Um, because apparently every time you have a cigarette, your liver dumps a bunch of glucose into your blood system or sugar, and it feeds the yeast. Yeah, you can't beat these things. Freak me out. Oh, but anyways, there's hope for it. I'm taking a bunch of iodine. So if you guys are having thyroid problems, you're having a candida issue, um, autoimmune stuff, um, iodine is awesome. Did you know that back in the day, the bread companies and manu food manufacturers, whatever, um, added iodized salt into the, the food to help people. And it solved all these goiter issues. It solved a lot of thyroid stuff. And then cheap bastards switched all this salt into bromine or bromine which was a cheaper alternative to iodized salt. And look at all the stuff that we're having. They're saying that 80% of Americans or so have an, a candida overgrowth, but they don't know. It might not be affecting you like it is affecting me and my family. Like my poor mom has psoriasis now that just blew up out of nowhere um, and all these other stuff. And they're like, oh, it's autoimmune, whatever. What I think this is all starting from is number one, I, I, you know, with the antibiotics throughout my lifetime or whatever, it's also your birth control pill. Your birth control pill can cause autoimmune disorders. It can cause thyroid problems um, because you're going to have an, um, an upper level or higher level of estrogen. So you can try to balance that with progesterone, I believe. You can get like a natural plant based one. That's good too. Or just get off the birth control. Um, and, and switch to a natural alternative like copper IUD. Do not get uh, Marina. 
I a whole different story. I have a video about that too. Um, yeah, so yeah, so it can be birth control, but it can also be like if you're on Ritalin or uh, methylamphetidate, you know, uh, different um, amphetamines for ADD, things like that, which I also take clearly. <laughs> but anyways, um, things like that that mess up your whole system. And I've noticed this has happened. Like what I remember is that after I got my tonsils taken out, I, my thyroid went nuts and I gained 30 pounds in like five months. It was, I didn't even get to enjoy it. I wasn't like, oh, cheesecake burgers, you know, yum, 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 yum. I'm going to smother mayonnaise. No. Um, and it, it was abrupt and fast. And what happened is I had a really bad, severe infection afterwards. Now, they're starting to think actually that the um, that your tonsils are more important than, than what they thought believed to be. So I was like, well, maybe there's a connection. That's why, you know, I'm having a thyroid problem now. But it was also that I had a really bad infection and I lost like 12 or 15 pounds. I was starving. I couldn't eat. I was talking like this. I sounded like the, um, the dinosaur in the Robinsons movie or whatever. Like I sounded deaf and dumb. And so anyway, so they put me on a bunch of antibiotics and then I wasn't taking probiotics at all. They don't tell you to do that. Our doctors and Western medicine suck. Um, and, and often they'll just treat symptoms instead of the root cause. So a lot of you might be suffering from candida and not even realize it. So here's how you can test. I'm going to try to cram all this into one video. In the morning, first thing when you wake up, you're like, uh, you know, uh, get your shit together, get a glass of water or have a glass of water next to the bed or whatever. Spit a bunch in the top, just hack a loogie, whatever, just whatever, whatever's in your mouth. Don't suck in snot. Just spit in the glass. A bunch and then watch it over the next hour. Mine like happened within 10 minutes or whatever, but you'll start to see these like um, spindly saliva spit legs that'll start to climb down and that is candida. So that's a sign that you have a bacterial overgrowth. If so, you can take some grapefruit seed extract. I heard that there's one thing in it though. You have to be careful what one you get because over prolonged use, it can be toxic or something. I don't know. Anyways, that's one of the best antifungal agents you can use. Um, do a liver cleanse as well, too, um, whether that's, uh, you know, uh, not sassafras, uh, ragweed tincture, um, all sorts of stuff like that, too. Um, I've also learned that candida can also be caused by too low of stomach acid. So I'm trying to take bedine, 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 which is hydrochloric acid, which sounds terrible, but it's actually not that bad. Your stomach's a beast. Your stomach can handle a lot. So what you do is you take it right before a meal and you start at one pill and then you up it to the amount of doses until, you know, each day, change your dose to up one more pill um, until you start to notice like a tightness or kind of a warm, kind of not burning feeling, but just like a little bit indigestion. Excuse me. So at that point, minus one pill, that's where you should be at for your level for stomach acid. So anyways, um, just figuring out all the stuff there. It's all connected. It's crazy. Um, our medicine is so far behind and doctors think that we're nuts. And like, stop researching on the internet. Like, you don't know what you're doing. And I'm like, a lot of you are like ER doctors. You know a little bit about everything. But aside from that, you suck at it. So anyway, so all my, I've been exhausted, um, constantly tired, weight gain, cold intolerance, all this other stuff that seems like it's thyroid, but it honestly might be this candida overgrowth in my system that's causing this. Another thing is human growth hormone. I have all those symptoms too, like a lack of it which can also be caused by this thing. It blocks your lymph system. It blocks your immune system, um, like your liver from processing because when you have too much candida, it creates alcohol in your system. It's gross. You get skin rashes sometimes. Um, all this other stuff. So anyways, big poof phenomena. So hopefully we can figure this out and I'm going to do this diet. I've been trying to do it. I was a little bit bad today because I had a drink after work at dinner. Um, we had a work dinner. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try to do this better. But anyway, sorry for the crazy long rambling video. But for those of you that have been following with vitiligo, check this out. It might be your problem. So hopefully we'll figure it out. But anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing great and I'll post more exciting videos later. Okay. All right. Bye-bye, YouTube.